Rashida Tlaib. She's been in the news lately. She wants to pass a bill to change adverse credit report considerations, I'm assuming, in employment. The problem, Ms. Tlaib, is if someone is drowning in debt, that becomes a liability if they are handling sensitive information that, you know, some other countries might want to know about and are willing to pay top dollar for. Wait, 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 back up, back up, back up. It's housing, transportation, really denied access to employment, housing. Again, I, I explained the employment, but very few jobs, your credit report will mean a damn thing. But there are some jobs where I can see, yeah, you having shit credit might be a problem. As for housing, yeah, no bank is going to give you a loan. By the way, this is what caused the 2007 crash, you dumb bitch. Is banks were forced to give loans to people that did not qualify for them. Because, I don't know, racism or something. Housing, transportation because of their credit history. Our neighbors should not... And again, you're not going to get a car loan if your credit's shit. Predatory lenders. Um, unless the lender forced you to take the money, you signed for it. You know damn well a payday loan is a shit, shit, shitty loan. But you took the money anyway. Again, of course, God forbid anybody is held accountable for their own actions anymore. I get it, Miss Tlaib. Just hey, exactly, and that's the other thing. You can walk away from a credit card bill. All you have to do is just go bankrupt. And by the way, people go bankrupt all the time. It's perfectly legal, legal procedure. It's pretty bunch. It's pretty painless. As long as you can prove that your assets do not, or that your income in no way could ever surmount your debts. You can go bankrupt. And boom, all your credit card debt is wiped away. Boom. Blink of an eye. Point of fa- to point of fact, Phoenix, yes. I have. I was very young, and this was in the time when credit card companies were showering kids with no experience. Credit cards with limits of tens of thousands of dollars. I made mistakes. And I learned my lesson. And went bankrupt. Yeah, I have, Phoenix. Example of what you're talking about. This no, I actually got to a point where my income was actually surpassing the minimum payments for my, or my minimum payments was surpassing my income. Nobody is getting denied a goddamn apartment because they have medical debt. Now, getting a mortgage is a little different, but again, mortgages are a little bit more secure. There are little, banks are way more lenient with a mortgage because again, the house is a permanent structure and you know, it, it, basically a car loan is harder to get because you know, you can move a car, you can't move a house, but yeah, people with shit credit probably shouldn't be given loans. It only takes a couple of years to build your credit up. I should know. I've had to rebuild it. Environmentalist. You must be. I'm not an environmentalist. Because trust me, the earth is way older than us. Its environment has changed radically over those billions of years. So trust me, the earth will just fix this problem on its own. If you care about saving the planet. I don't. Who cares? You must stop consuming dairy products. No. The planet can go fuck itself then. 
Jonah Daniel. Hill, weaponizing mental health and fragile masculinity. Oh, gee, was Jonah Hill the bad man for asking his girlfriend, would you not please not be a slut online if you want to be my girlfriend? And if you want to continue to be a slut, I guess I'm just not your guy. No power to you. Have a good, have a good yeah, okay. one. Because like it or not, men have always and will always be territorial. And yeah, I hate to say it, your pussy is my territory, so I don't want you showing it on the well, internet. An interesting comment. I yeah. Why do I think you think yelling at a woman is physical abuse? Many so, years into it, I was comforting my ex for abusing me. Well, how was he abusing you, sweetheart? Was he smacking you around? What was he? Uh, what burning you with an iron? Or was he just being, you know, a man? Progressive. Oh, wait. His fits of anger. Well, what was the fit of... Wh where did the fit of anger climax? Was he beating the shit out of you? Or was he just yelling at you and then feeling bad afterwards? Because, again, your average modern woman can't handle being yelled at. That's why they usually fail in the professional world. Jogging. Yelling at someone is not verbal abuse. Toughen the fuck up. And the way that men and yeah. women are not equal. Point blank, period. Men are better at some things. Women are better at others. We're not equal. That's why we compliment one another. Women are not as good at building shit and working. Men aren't that great around the kids. Or at least not as good as mom. That's why when it's 2 o'clock in the morning and the kid's sick, he, dad can fuck off. <laughs> Unless dad needs to drive him to the hospital. There's a big difference between yelling at someone and, and uh, which isn't verbal abuse, and smacking them in the face. Remember, words only have enough, po have only the power it's we elite. assign them. Uh, typically, okay, typically, at least when I've been in the professional world, yeah, yelling does go on. But usually it's after a sustained, why the fuck are you making the same mistake 47 fucking times? But yeah, why do I think you're the type of guy that will let your girlfriend go to the club, find five Tyrones, get fucked by all five... And you come in and suck the cum out of her pussy. Yeah, women in my family specific. Oh, for fuck's sakes. There's not a spectrum of abuse. There's either abuse or there's not. You know, just being a dick isn't abusive. No abuse, like... Uh, a swat on the bottom is not physical abuse. Or and emotional abuse, that gets down to definitions. You ever heard of this thing called tough love too? We need a little bit more of it. Oh, I am not. Yeah, basically he's saying don't go to the fucking clubs with your girlfriend with your crazy fucking single girlfriends because I don't want to share you with the Tyrone of the That's night. Talk. All right, Paul. Uh, this is libs of TikTok. If I seen this guy, I would take my kid out of camp immediately. I was a camp counselor for one week and turned an entire cabin of 13-year-olds into leftists. Here's how Oh, great. And it would take me 10 minutes to uh, turn them all back into capitalists. Socialism is the worst system to ever happen. The Nazis killed 6 million. The socialist communist asshole Mao Zedong killed 45 million. By the way, both socialists. And then it would take me approximately two hours to explain to the kids why that doesn't fucking work. Why communism is always trash. She needs to leave. Back to her again. She's going to do environmental racism. Really? The environment is racist now? We, we just make it really hot in just the black areas? So in, in a white neighborhood, it's 72. If you're in a black neighborhood, it's like 93. Uh, the environment doesn't work that way, dipshit. Not objection. Mr. Speaker, I introduced the Cumulative Impacts Act to protect frontline communities. God, will somebody just fucking... God. This is why we need to repeal the 19th. This is why women should not be allowed to serve in Congress. Dipshits like her.
by requiring the analyze cumulative impacts of pollution and deny permits for facilities that endanger public health. You know, why don't you follow your religion and stay home? You are a Muslim after all, right? Media. The only difference is that this is after uh, the IRS whistleblowers testified on Capitol Hill and said that the investigation. You're not fuck it. This is probably deep enough in the broadcast. This is what Centro uh, sent me. You think Corn Cobb has one of them? <laughs> ah, it's flexible too. Or do you think he just shoves a cor- a, cor- a, a, a cob of corn up his ass? Okay, so this is my supposedly racist video on Cornell West. All right. Oh, George Floyd. Oh, St. Floyd of Minnesota. Murdered on the streets like a dog. If you just ignore the fact he was dead anyway. Old Floyd, Saint of Fentanyl. Oh, George. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a real zinger for me. Holy shit. Once again, take it out of context, blah, 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 but George Floyd was dead anyway from a fentanyl overdose.